Hi everyone, it's Emma with Polly's Paper Crafts and I have got a bit of a festive edition for you today. Um, obviously the first weekend in December has gone and that means if you are organised then you are probably almost done with your Christmas shopping. If you're like me um, then some of it is done but a few will slip through the cracks and there will be some last minute um, rushing. Um, and if you're really sort of unorganised then, like my brother actually, um, it will be a Christmas Eve dash to the shops. Um, but I thought I would do a bit of a gift guide for the crafter in your life. Um, now if you see me looking down, um, it's because I have got a bit of a list. There are 10 things that I have thought of that would be a really good idea for the crafter in your life. I know what I would enjoy um, and I think that you guys would be the same but if you think of anything else as we're going along then hop on down to the comments section below um, because I would love to hear what you would like for Christmas um, or what you think would be a good idea to give someone um, and hopefully we'll all help each other out along the way because you know Christmas gets a bit manic sometimes. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the first one. Um, my first one, okay, I have been on a bit of a traveller's notebook kick. Um, I've been enjoying it to use um, as my project life. Um, a lot of people use them as planners because they're just chucking your bag and off you go. Um, so my first one is actually a DIY. A DIY traveller's notebook or a set of traveller's notebooks would be an awesome gift for a crafter in your life or so I think. <laughs> um, this is my traveller's notebook. I'm sure you've seen it before if you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, if not then hit that subscribe button down below. Um, and like I said I use this for Project Life. Um, I use it for um, I also do the Dawn Nicole Designs uh, lettering challenges, which, um, yeah, it's just like little prompts every day just to get you doodling or lettering. I really like that one, but I spelt it wrong. It should have been C-O-U-R-A-G-E. Can I spell it wrong? Then you realised afterwards. But yeah, so that's what I use my traveller's notebook for. But for a DIY traveller's notebook, I made this one. Bit of wire there. Um, and this is just scrapbook paper, a bit of embellishment, and some thick sort of sketchbook paper inside. And I have a tutorial for these. So if you would like to do um, like a really nice set for someone or someone get someone started with traveller's notebooks, then I will leave the link below or sort of at the top over there somewhere um, for my video on how to make these. They are so simple. But I think it's a really thoughtful gift. So that is number one. Number one, traveller's notebooks. Uh, number two, I really like this idea. Gifts in a jar. Okay. First of all, if something is in a jar, it is cute. Okay. And there is nothing that us crafters like more than cute things. So this is what I've just put together um, in here. Now... This is a jar from Ikea, really simple, it's got the clip top, you can make it look really festive, you can put ribbon around it and bows and tags and all that looks good stuff, but let's have a look at what I've got in here, because you can put anything in here, um, as long as it fits obviously. So, I have got a mini bottle of Heidi Shine. This is the Heidi Shine in Ocean. But these mini bottles are perfect for someone if they haven't got any Heidi Shine. They're good for a starter. And they fit really nicely in this jar. So Heidi Shine. Uh, I have some distress inks. These are um, Tim Holtz mini distress inks. They are one inch cubes, but a lot of um, ink manufacturers make these. Um, I know that uh, Tim Holtz do. Um, Simon Says Stamp, they do all of their inks in uh, mini miniature. Kelly Perky, the Hero Arts inks, they're in miniature. Um, and they're really nice. I know these distress inks come in sets of four. So you could get a set of four and then put all four like loose in the jar and that would be really cute. 
Personally, I really like distress sinks because um, they're really versatile in terms of you can use them as watercolours as well. Um, and there are some really awesome colours. So this one is Cracked Pistachio. And this one is Abandoned Coral. And I thought they were quite nice Christmassy colours. So they are in there. Um, to go along with the ink, I put a small acrylic block. Again, if this is sort of a beginner crafter, then this would be really handy. If not, then they're just really handy to have around. Um, so an acrylic block. I have two little tubes of sequins. Okay, we've got one that's got all stars in. These like little plastic test tubes. And one that's got sort of minty coloured sequins in. Now, although I have these in tubes, which are really cute, um, you don't have to put them in tubes. I just had these that uh, were really handy and they look really, really nice. Um, but you don't, you know, a little um, plastic bag of sequins or um, like the packet, you know, the, the Pretty Pink Posh uh, sequins come in like a little packet. So just one of those would be really, really nice. Or if you're doing like a little mix for someone, um, then a vellum little uh, bag or just a paper bag or a little envelope that you've made. It could be anything, but sequins are really tiny, really useful, and they look really cute in the drawer. <laughs> so yes, I picked the minty kind of colours and the stars, which actually, if you're thinking of doing something like this, then a really popular Christmas line this year is Snow and Cocoa. And these two colours go perfectly. And they match the ink, so okay. Okay, next, what have I put in here? Next, I have put a roller stamp. Roller stamps are really handy, and because of the size, they fit really nicely in the jar. Super. So this is just an October afternoon, I think it's a daily flash one. Um, again, I really like the colour of the handle. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see, I went for a theme in this jar. Um, but they've got really cute sort of sayings on and they are perfect to go in the drawer. Um, next, let's get them out. Next, I had three rolls of washi tape. Washi tape is super handy and even though we never use a whole roll, crafters keep buying it. So here I have a silver glitter, a gold glitter and a red dot, focusing on that, but there we go. So washi tape fits really nicely into the jar and it's really handy. Anyone would love to have some more washi tape. And the next, the last thing is a little stamp. This is a little, a little stamp. What am I saying? A little punch. This is a tiny heart punch. It's a little like cubey kind of shape. Again, fits perfectly in there. Small punches will fit in a jar. The bigger ones you might struggle with a little bit or they'll take up too much room. But a little punch is always handy, and especially with something like a heart, you know, you can use that loads. So, and then at the bottom, just to pretty up, I've just put some tissue paper. So all of that fits really nicely. I'll put it all back in. So that's the punch. We've got the roller stamp. Uh, put the big things in first. So the acrylic block. We'll put the Heidi Shine. Um, the test tubes of sequins, inks, and the washi tape. Obviously you can play around and make it look all pretty and all the rest of it, but personally I think gifts in a jar is really cute. I don't know a crafter who wouldn't be thrilled to have something like that. So number two, gifts in a jar. So number three, okay, this is a big one. Subscription boxes, kit subscriptions. Personally, I get all of my crafty things in a kit I subscribe to like forever kits. Um, some people don't, which I totally, I mean, I'm not just talking about like forever here, just subscription kits in general. Um, some people don't and they prefer to. Some people um, wish they could. Maybe it's a, a monetary sort of commitment issue for every month. Um, but I think a really lovely gift for a crafty friend of yours, um, if they aren't already subscribed to a, a kit or if they talk about another one but can't afford to get both every month, then a one-off subscription box is a really lovely idea. 
a lot of kit clubs. Um, once all the subscribers have their kits, sometimes they have some left over and they go on sale for sort of general sale. Um, so you do have to be quick and you kind of have to think about um, what sort of time they're released. Um, but I think a one-off subscription box is a lovely idea. This is my latest one from Like Forever. And if, honestly, I get this every month and it is like Christmas every month. And I'm not just saying that because this is a Christmas gift video. But if you got this for Christmas with all of the goodies in, this is the um, December kit for Like Forever, which is all like the Christmassy snow and cocoa and... You know, if you got a box with lots of little embellishments in and loads of papers and all that kind of thing, that right there is Christmas. I would be thrilled with that. So, like, for me, I know I subscribe to Like Forever. If someone wanted to get me a one-off subscription box, then I would say I would love to try uh, Felicity Jane or Hip, Hip, bleh, Hip Kit Club. <laughs> that was a bit of a mouthful. Um, or Citrus Twist. You know, there are so many out there. And um, totally worth it. Value for money all the way. Uh, if you're in the UK and you're looking for someone to, to buy in the UK, um, then I would obviously, a little bit biased because I'm subscribed, but I would definitely suggest Light Forever. Um, but there are others. There are Turtle Crafts. There are uh, Lottie Loves Paper. Um, Mine the Scrap. There are quite a few in the UK now. Um, and I would totally recommend that. So number three is a one-off subscription box. Okay, number four, really simple number four, stationery. Crafters love stationery. Even if you're not a planner or if you're just a, a scrapbooker or Project Life or whatever, you can never have too many pens, especially nice ones. Um, if your friend likes, um, the look of hand lettering and would like to have a go then I totally recommend the Tombow jewel tip brush pen I only have one in black um, I would like to extend my collection um, but yes so a Tombow pen if your friend likes lettering or um, a Tombow Fudenosuke I'll leave links to these below um, but that is like a, a brush tip pen too they're both in black um, you can get these in other colours as well. So a set of pens, you would be like the best friend ever. Um, you can also get, I haven't got them, but the Zig Clean Colour Real Brush pens. They're like um, watercolours on my Amazon wish list. <coughs> Voice went funny there. Um, on my Amazon wish list, I've got some of the Artline Sticks pens, um, which again are brush pens, really good for lettering. Um, but in terms of just stationery as well, just really cute pens that are, this will sound really bad, but you can photograph them well. <laughs> we love to stage our photos, right? So for Instagram, that kind of thing, then cute pens um, in nice colours are always a must. So in general, for number four, stationery. Uh, obviously, I've just talked about pens there, but we can have paper clips. Oh, we love a paper clip. We love a paper clip, especially a shaped one that's maybe in gold, <laughs> maybe this is just me, um, or, oh, these things, the skeleton ball clips, those, that's part of stationery, I would totally love those, um, let's see, what else, anything stationery related, um, a new planner, you know, we're moving into 2017, if someone hasn't got a new planner, then that might be a really good one, oh, Hobbycraft have got some really nice ones at the moment, um, I will leave a link to those down below if you're in the UK. Um, I spotted them on the website yesterday and they look really cute. Um, so a planner, notebooks, always notebooks, um, paper, <laughs> anything paper. We are paper crafters. Anything paper related, we're pretty happy with. Or I am anyway, that might just be me. So that is number four, stationery. And number five, so the last one for this video uh, number five is albums. Now, I don't know where you are in the world, but I know for me in the UK, albums, like this bad boy, this is the We Are Memory Keepers one, but these can be pretty pricey in the UK. Um, you're looking at around 20 to £30 pounds for an album, which I suppose, I'm not sure on the exchange rate at the moment, but 
that used to be like $40 in the US, um, which I think is quite a lot for an album. When you think that you could, think of all the other crafty goodness that you could buy with 20 to 30 pounds. So albums, though essential, this is um, an eight and a half by 11 one. Uh, and this is my one and only album, actually. <laughs> um, but though essential, they can be quite pricey. And if someone bought me an album for Christmas, I would be very happy. Oh, and page protectors. Because <laughs> they go along with them. You kind of need the page protectors. So number five is an album's essential, necessary, maybe not something that you particularly liked buying. But there you go. So a quick rundown of my top five so far. We have number one. Um, Traveller's Notebooks. I love these things. So number one, Traveller's Notebooks. Number two, and possibly my favourite so far, is the Gifts in a Jar. This is so versatile, you can put anything in there and your friend would love you forever. <laughs> um, number three was a one-off subscription box to any sort of kit club. Um, it could even be like a stationary box. You know, there's um, the Brimbles boxes or a beautiful mess or just maybe a box that your friend has been talking about that they want to try but haven't quite got around to it yet. That would be a great idea. So that was number three. Um, number four, any kind of stationery. We talked about that. That was number four. And number five was the albums. So that's it for my top five so far. There will be another video. I have another five. Um, I thought it was best to put probably split these. Um, I will leave links down below to anything that I've talked about and click subscribe if you want to see, I went that way, it's meant to be that way I think. Subscribe to me anyway <laughs> um, if you would like to see my next five and yes I will see you soon. I think, shall we end with a Merry Christmas? Sure, why not, it's December. Merry Christmas!